This is a modern reconstruction of a bill hook, and you may notice that it's quite crude. Uh, the blacksmith put this together very quickly and was able, therefore, to sell it to me quite cheaply. Now, did these exist? Because if you go to a museum, all the pole arms there look so fancy. They're beautifully finished with lots of scrolly decorations. But those, of course, are the ones that people bothered to keep. They thought, oh, no, don't throw that out. That, that out. It's too nice. We'll preserve it. And someone later thought, oh, let's put that in a museum. We can get people to pay to see that. But presumably back in the day, if you just wanted to get a tool that will kill Frenchmen, you would just put it together in a functional way. And maybe these were actually what most medieval weapons looked like. But then again, perhaps people took great pride in owning something really nice. I mean, most people's cars, for instance, on the street today are not all bashed and scratched. They're in quite pristine condition because people take pride in their appearance. And so maybe they only made very nice bill hooks. We just don't know. It could be that the rubbish stuff just didn't survive.